Hello everyone. I'm Sudha Vijay Kumar, developer advocate intern at TigerGraph. Today I will be talking about conversational AI with TigerGraph and Raza platform, followed by a hands-on chatbot project. I recommend reading the tech blog with detailed steps about this project. Uh, please check out the video description for a link to the Medium article. We'll be building a dictionary bot application using ConceptNet 5 as TigerGraph and Raza platform. Let's get started. Let us try to understand at a very high level about the different components of this project. We'll be using Raza open source, uh, which is a framework for building powerful text and voice-based conversational AI chatbots. We'll be using ConceptNet 5, uh, which is more of a practical common sense language network, helping AI perform NLU, NLP, uh, similar to the way human brain connect different concepts. Let us try to understand it with an example. So how human brain map things? We can immediately say lemon taste sore. We have a good judgment about these concepts naturally as we have experienced tasting lemon in the past. How about AI? Imagine a network of words where lemon is a node and sore is a node and there exists a relationship, lemon is sore. This is one of a way to make AI understand concepts. I hope this is giving some clarity about the use cases of ConceptNet5. Let's check out an example application using ConceptNet5. Globuddy is a dynamic foreign language phrasebook developed by MIT Media Lab, which when given a word uh, like wedding, automatically relate to concepts like uh, beach wedding, groom, bride, ring, flowers, and their corresponding translations. Now let's talk about why ConceptNet as TigerGraph. ConceptNet 5 is a huge multilingual ever-growing concepts. Uh, auto generated from 700 case sentences in the Open Mind Common Sense project, compiled through web based collaboration uh, with over 14K authors globally. It includes many other knowledge sources, including WordNet, DBpedia. So one can imagine ConceptNet language network as a network of networks. It includes a powerful semantic knowledge base for. AI and NLP applications. Having said these, how to scale this chain network for a real-time AI? Tiger Graph comes to rescue as the only scalable graph database for the enterprise. So let's talk about the project pipeline. Um, the front end will be the Rasa. The back end will be the concept Net5 implemented as Tiger Graph. In addition, uh, we'll be implementing IndB, GSQL, Tiger Graph queries. And in the Rasa solution, we'll be implementing uh, user intents to decode the natural language uh, conversation of the user and retrieve corresponding entities. We'll be implementing stories to enable the interactive conversation. And we'll be implementing uh, the action endpoints and map them to the corresponding user intent uh, and also retrieve the data from the Tiger Graph. So whenever a response is written, from the Tiger Graph, the action endpoints also generate appropriate response uh, to be uh, reported in the interactive conversation. So now let's do a simple four-step hands-on. Uh, step one will be uh, running a data pipeline script uh, to retrieve the ConceptNet5 uh, data in relational data format and convert that into a CSV. So uh, step two will be running a pre-processing script where uh, the CSV data is further processed uh, to encode uh, categorical entities into numerical entities. So here you see an example uh, where we are converting uh, the parts of speech into numerical entities um, and uh, some pre-processing uh, in the definition string. So step three will be executing the load scripts. So which executes the sub steps like installing the PyTiger Graph library, connecting to the Tiger Graph cloud solution, defining and publishing the graph schema, connecting to the graph for the valid secret, and creating the load jobs for every CSV which we created in the previous step, uh, and finally executing the load jobs. And step four will be uh, building the Rasa Wiki chatbot. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, we'll be including intent stories and actions in the Rasa solution. And we'll be 
implementing the IndDB GSQL queries uh, and installing them in the TigerGraph cloud solution. Okay, now let's get started with a hands-on demo. I'm going to uh, follow the steps uh, from the Git repository. So to run the solution, uh, we need to have Python 3 runtime, Jupyter Notebook or Microsoft Visual Studio Code, uh, Raza platform, and we need to create a TigerGraph cloud solution. So I have provided links for detailed uh, installation instructions. So step zero will be cloning the repository. So I have uh, already cloned uh, the repository in my local machine. So let's proceed with step one, which is uh, data gathering. So there are two set of scripts, uh, which will download a uh, WordNet uh, and ConceptNet. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this step. Okay, so there are a set of two scripts. So uh, script one is going to download uh, the WordNet in relational data format and uh, store it as a CSV. And our script two is going to do the same for ConceptNet. So let's go ahead and execute these uh, two scripts. Um, it's okay to run them in parallel. Okay, and this is going to take uh, around uh, one to two minutes. So let's wait for this to get uh, completed. So the scripts are executed successfully. The WordNet data and concepted data are downloaded now. Okay, now let's go ahead and execute uh, step two, which is the pre-processing step. So I'm going to run the script uh, to do some pre-processing on the extracted data. Okay, so this is done. Let's go and review the outputs uh, under the CSV imports folder. So we have the words, uh, synsets, relationships, uh, notes from WordNet, and all the pre-processed data available under uh, encoded folder. All right. Um, now uh, let's go ahead and execute the uh, step three. Uh, which is uh, loading the concept net five as tiger graph. So, uh, so there are uh, three different variations of the graphs. So WordNet with unique edge, concept net with unique edge, and WordNet concept net with single edges. Uh, so there are uh, three different scripts to create these variations. So for the purpose of this uh, Rasa chatbot application, I'm going to use uh, the WordNet with unique edges. So let's go ahead and create the concept net and tiger graph. Uh, so before that, so before creating the graph in the tiger graph cloud, uh, let's go and verify if the tiger graph cloud is ready. Okay, the schema is empty uh, and there is no graph. So we are going to create a graph uh, using the script. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit run all. So let's wait for this uh, execution to be completed. So at this step, we are creating the loading job. Uh, the step after this will be um, uploading data. All right, um, so the graph is successfully created now. So we have some sample uh, queries uh, included in the Jupyter Notebook for you to review from here if the graph is successfully created and also explore the data that is loaded. All right, now let's jump into the uh, TG Cloud and review the graph that is created. So we have the schema in here. Let's go back to WordNet. Let's review the graph statistics. 
Okay, as you can see here, uh, we have the graph successfully loaded. There are around 1 million edges and 100 key notes from the WordNet. So let's try to load some words. Okay, so this is a word node. It has definition, URI, and ID. Um, so this is a parts of speech node. This should be the subject node. Let's try to expand some of them and see. Okay, so you can see some of the relationships loaded here, like antonyms, parts of speech, and subject. Okay. So we have some queries here. Um, so this is going to get hyponyms for us. Say if I enter a word science. Okay, it is fetching the definitions uh, of all the word with signs um, and written the hyponyms. Um, similarly, uh, this script, uh, this GSQL query is going to written me the hyponyms of the word that I enter here. So we are going to create some uh, GSQL scripts to retrieve definition, antonyms, uh, hyponyms, hyponyms, and uh, get all connections of a particular word uh, and get all the words directly related to the word. So the GitHub uh, has all these scripts, uh, so you can uh, uh, copy that and uh, create the scripts in the TG Cloud. Um, so once you're done creating, uh, so all the scripts has to be installed. Uh, then it is available for querying from the API. So this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, so uh, execute these two commands, uh, the Raza train and Raza run, uh, followed by Raza run actions in a separate terminal. Uh, so I just did that. Uh, so the Raza server is up and running and the action point is up and running. Now let's go to the chatbot widget folder open the chatbot widget and try to start a conversation. Okay. So I'm getting some response uh, from the backend. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so Suraza is retrieving me the hyponyms from Tiger Graph. So what is the hyponym of science? Okay, so I'm getting all the related words which are hyponyms of word science. Now let's try this. I expect zero result. Yeah. Uh, yes, we are done. Uh, we are done with the hands-on. Um, thank you. I hope uh, this session is uh, informative and useful. Bye, everyone.